Some animals are just natural born enemies, cats and birds, for example. But we've discovered some very unusual home video that shows how even these natural enemies can also become the best of friends. Wallace and Ann Kalito live on the outskirts of North Attleboro, Massachusetts. They are and always have been fond of animals. I've been married 51 years, and I don't think it'll be in a week without a cat. Cats, I don't mind cats at all. One day, while sitting on their porch, the Kalitos saw a stray kitten walking past the edge of their yard. This was a kitten that wasn't much more than, I say, three or four months old. A couple days later, they saw it again. But this time, it wasn't alone. And who was with them but a crow? It can't be. A crow and a kitten? No, no. I said, my God, a crow? A crow and a kitten? It's impossible. And I said, my wife, there's a cat and a crow running down the road. We figured maybe the, the crow was chasing it, but they were side by side, not one of them behind each other, just side by side. I said, they must be friends. Worried that the kitten would starve, Ann put out some food. But the next time she saw it, she realized her worries had been for naught. The cat was laying down, and the crow was picking things up out of the grass to feed him. He looks like he has a worm or something. And actually, he was feeding the cat. Oh, my God, he's taking care of the kitten. We were shocked because the crow, um, they're supposed to eat anything that's got fur on it, and um, all of a sudden he was feeding the kitten and caring for the kitten and bringing it to the water and doing all sorts of things that a crow shouldn't do. I know birds and cats are not friends. I don't care what kind of a cat or what kind of a bird it is. You, you just don't see things like that. And immediately called her veterinarian to ask for advice and spoke with the office manager, Jane Dash. Animal Clinic, can I help you? Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Kalito, how are you? I have a, a she said there was a stray the kitten and that was in the yard and she mentioned about a bird kept coming, a bird kept coming. Yes, it's a big pro, following him all over the yard. Feeding him. She said it's feeding the kitten, you know, and it's protecting the kitten. The bird is protecting the kitten, is that what you're saying? I didn't believe it. But the customer's always right, so I just went along with it. Okay, okay. Jane relayed Ann's story to veterinary doctor Gafur Maimon. I don't think it was possible. That was my belief that I have not heard, not seen, never a crow feeding the cat, never. A big bird. Dr. Maimon called Ann back to hear her story firsthand. I said, Mrs. Kalito, you know, if you think what you are telling is correct, you got to document it because nobody will believe you in these days and time. The Kalitos took the good doctor's advice, and for the next eight months, they videotaped the amazing relationship between these two natural-born enemies. What they recorded was the daily routine of a bird looking after and caring for a motherless kitten. It's amazing. You have to sit there and you're dumbfounded when you see it. There's no question about it. You're just dumbfounded. He kept that cat alive. We don't know how long. So we surmised that the crow saved the cat. Eventually, Ann decided to see what would happen if she gave the kitten cat food instead of its regular diet of worms and bugs. The crow and the cat went out there, both together, eating the food. But the crow, he'd grab a mouthful and step back a couple inches, and he'd gobble his up, you know. But then the cat would keep on eating. The crow would come in and grab another piece and take off. But he always made sure that the cat would eat his share. He won't get out of the road, will he, Penny? They also discovered that the crow was very protective of the kitten. When they start crossing the road, the crow would holler, don't go on the road, you're going to get hurt. Sometimes he'd get in front of it and kind of push her back to the sidewalk. He was protecting her, see? And because they, they were so friendly. And it's their unlikely friendship that comes across most vividly in the tapes. For hours each day, they would tease, torment, and play with each other. 
When Dr. Maimon and Jane Dash were finally shown the tapes, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. The bird was acting like the kitten's mother, you know, picking things off the grass and then putting it in the mouth. And the kitten, of course, play. Everything's play. I've never seen it before in the 13 years I've been working here. Never heard of it before. The only theory I would say is that they were both young and they did not know any better. It's the mother instinct in the crow. As the months passed, Anne gained the confidence of the cat she'd named Cassie, and it would spend nights in the house. But every morning, the bird would be there, waiting. The bird trusted me because she looked right in at me, and she would crow and crow until I let Cassie out. She was fine when I let Cassie out. We let open the door, and the crow and the cat walked down the stairs together, took off together, and played together again. It had to be, <laughs> what do you call a cat in a bit? Love, uh, uh, friendship, or what, you know? Best friends. Best friends. Perhaps there's a lesson we can all learn from this incredible relationship. If you're able to gain trust in someone or something or each other, then anything is possible. The crow gained confidence playing mother to this kitten, and the kitten trusted the crow, which was the only mother figure in the kitten's world. It's a miracle because he knew that the kitten needed help, and he was there. If it wasn't for the crow, feeding that cat, taking care of that cat would have been dead a long time ago. Even the vet says, if it wasn't for the crow, this cat wouldn't be here. We could learn a lot. They said, be friendly with your neighbors, not even your neighbors, the people you know and don't know. Be friendly with them. Because if a crow can take care of a kitten, it shows that two strangers meeting can get along with each other. No question about it. <laughs>